Hello guys and uh, welcome to this continuation of um, the video on the 2017 May-June IGCC ICT. This will be part 4 of um, this video. In the last video we ended on um, step number 12 and in this video we'll continue step number 13. Um, using the data in the step uh, in the file j 217 nationalitiescsv create a vertical bar chart to show the number of students from each country for the year 2016. Okay. So let's go ahead and use the nationalities data and open the CSV file nationalities. Double click on it and it will by default open with Excel or your spreadsheet package. Um, then we're going to use this data that is here to create um, um, to create um, a table, okay, or a, rather a chart, a vertical chart, okay. So now using this data then to show the number of students from each country for the year 2016 so if you come back here you're just picking up the year 2016 so you're getting the countries and then you're getting the year 2016 okay if you want you can even include the name of the country here you can say country okay and just get this and uh, click control on your keyboard and click and drag um, down there and then go to insert and then um, select a vertical chart okay so I'm going to choose this chart okay I'm going to choose this chart that should be fine next we're going to select um, we're going to Let's just verify the question. Label the chart with the subtitle student nationality. Okay. So the chart is supposed to be is that the title is um, supposed to be not subtitle. It's supposed to be title student nationality. Um, so chart title student nationality. And you're supposed to type it as you see it. Okay. So make sure the text is 100% accurate. Next, label the category axis with the title country and then do not display um, a legend. Okay, so don't display a legend. Let's come here and then go to the axis titles. So for the um, for the For this one, we're going to select um, the this one. Make it country. This one let it be country. And uh, for the other one, we can also name it if we want. Which is um, we are going to check what this is all about. So this is. The number of students so we're going to say number of students for this one this other one okay so just say number okay okay that should be fine so number and also country okay next um, a legend is not displayed we are going to format the values um, and the axis values uh, so that they ask um, they are um, they have the maximum value of 1200 and the increments of 300 okay so come back here and select this portion okay um, go to text options here and um, no not text option axis options and select this part here which is axis option alternatively you can right click and um, select format axis and it will still bring you to this window so the maximum is supposed to be the value um, supposed to be the value 1200 okay so the maximum is supposed to be 1200 so just type 1200 and um, the minimum of course supposed to be zero and then the units uh, supposed to be in incrementing in units of um, in units of 300 okay 
units of 300. So you notice it will be 0, 300, 600, 900, 1200 and that's what we want. Okay. So come back to the question again. The maximum value is 1, 2 and the increments is 300. Okay. So that should be fine. So next insert the chart after the paragraph ending. Students came from um, in 2016. Okay. So the paragraph that's ending, student came from 2016. So come back here. Make sure that the chart is there. Uh, copy the chart and you're going to paste it um, on um, on a paragraph ending students came from um, in 2016. Okay, so just control F on your keyboard to open the navigation um, there. Um, so students came from and that's the text there and just there we are going to paste the chart and notice that the chart actually fits on the existing margins and that should be perfectly fine next we are going to um, import rather make sure that the chart fits within the column width which we've just done and all data labels are displayed in full okay so the data labels actually um, the data labels are supposed to be displayed in full now what I want what I want to do guys is to verify uh, with um, with our chat that um, our labels are there you have numbers on the axis this side you have Australia um, these are fully visible there nothing is cut and everything so this is pe perfectly fine nationality is visible country is visible and everything is visible but um, the other thing also that I want to um, to point out um, is that um, um, if you come back to the question we are only told to put um, the category title um, for the axis to, to be country um, the other one we have not told to put that so what I'm going to do for the sake of um, for the sake of this I'm going to remove this one because we're not told to put this one I've just noticed that okay so that should be fine and then I'll instead copy this and replace the one that I put there okay so I'm just going to delete this one okay let's go ahead and delete this one now uh, just undo it um, delete it why is it not deleting the entire one <laughs> okay let me just undo it okay so there you go and paste the new one okay so that should be fine so next step is insert um, the chart which we've just done step 18 import the image j217 test to jpg and place this below the subheadings um, um, language requirements okay so this is the image that we're supposed to import and place it before that so what i'm going to do is to um, just go to languages or language requirements um, section subheading um, so just go down there which is just here and just below this one at the beginning of this text all summer schools teaching in English is uh, teaching is in English I'm going to put my cursor there and go to insert and I'll insert a picture and browse to the location where these files might be found okay so okay so that's the image file and I'll paste uh, I would um, insert it there next reflect the image so that it looks like this okay so so take note of the direction of the image um, we need it to be reflected so it looks like that so flip it go to rotate and flip it uh, horizontal and that should be fine next step 20 resize the image so that it is 4 centimeters wide and the aspect ratio is maintained so 4 centimeters wide 
size and position and make sure that it is four centimeters wide and make sure that it is the width that you are resizing and then the aspect ratio is maintained okay next step um, align the image to the paragraph or uh, align the image to the top of the paragraph starting all summer school teaching and then should be left um, with the left of the column um, it should also be, um, you should make sure that the text wraps around the image and it may look something like this, okay? So let's go ahead and just do that. So what I need to do is to wrap the text, I'll select square as usual, and make sure that the text is actually aligned to the paragraph and that should be perfectly fine for now. Okay, and next step. Spell check and proofread the document and make sure that the table is not split over two columns or pages and there are no widows or orphans, okay? That there are no blank pages and the house style specification have been followed and the correct styles applied as instructed. The image and graph are placed within the column width and the spacing between all items is consistent and you're supposed to save um, the document using the same file name and format used in step one, okay? So let's go ahead and do just that so one of the things that you need to do now is to go back to your table and um, make sure that it is displayed um, on um, um, on this line um, so the other thing that we are supposed to do is to just verify that um, we are supposed to check the spelling and stuff like that okay there are no, um, in fact, there was nothing to do with spelling here. Well, it is here. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, do the spell check. Hit F7 on your keyboard, and um, all um, the, the, the text that has to do with grammar, ignore it. Uh, only the text that has to do with spelling, that's what you should check out. Okay, so grammar, ignore that. Just ignore, 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 ignore. Let me say all the text that is underlined in blue, ignore it. All the text that is underlined in red, it means there is um, some spelling problem. Okay, so um, Tawara is underlined red, but it is a noun and it can be there. So just ignore all instances of Tawara information. Just ignore that. Ignore 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 and ignore okay so um, this one I can change just some space there okay so that should be perfectly fine all right guys I think um, this video will end here um, so the last step is just uh, printing out um, your names um, uh, make sure that your name, center number, and candidate number, they are appearing on the document. Okay. So, guys, I think I'll end here. Um, I will be able to put up um, um database section maybe in the course of the week. Um, um, I'm supposed to go home right now. Um, my wife is waiting for, you, for me as usual. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, comment on these videos, and I'll... See you in the next section when we start looking at the database um, um, uh, section. Okay, so thank you so much.